Hello and welcome to the latest instalment of the rebuilding of the streets in at Clyde Bridge Station. This is part three. Gosh, we're getting through it, aren't we? Now, when you left me last time, this was very near complete. I've had to re obviously paint up the road again. The paint is drying. It's a matte finish uh, that I've got. And you'll see that I've done a couple of bits of work already before starting. So let me just explain what we've done. That's the barber's shop now positioned as it were. I mean in theory I could move it back a little bit. There we go. One problem I had this morning when I was doing some painting, I've noticed that there. Little black mark. Not a problem because when I'm using this later on to paint the filler over, I'll be able to touch it up as well and touch up a few other bits as well because this is just it's nice enough as it is, but it could make a little bit better. So what I've done is I've reinstated this morning the, the walling that I had here. And this is something else I've got from Scale Model Senior and it's curb stones. And just take them out of the pack like that. Bit of PVA glue and then stick it down. The curb stones I've acquired for two reasons. One, it'll f form a little natural boundary with the wall. So the wall's not right next to the road but there's a little bit of give and take there. But what I'll do more importantly for me is make my life a bit easier. When I come to reinstate uh, the road lines, I've got this here as a little guide. That will, oh, there we go. A little guide that will actually tell me where the middle of the road is. And you can actually adjust and turn names. So it will, it will be eventually hidden from view, the curb stones. But as I say, it's a good little guide so I know exactly where... The, the, the road is where of to place certain things and although the the, um, the paint is wet I'm, I'm not going to place that down there but one and even with the single decker bus which, let's get to the bottom there 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 that seems quite fine enough <coughs> obviously I can discreetly move the line down a bit as we go along so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the filler ready and I'll start putting filler in there and I'll talk you through that next bit. You'll notice also I haven't put the coping stone back on the top there. That's for another time. So here we are. Now what I've done is this bit here, I've used that to measure how far I need to go down and now with the curbing and real, in reality I can go a lot further. And you can see there it is a little bit wider than what I wanted there, but that's easy to adjust. There we go. You just stick that down, as I say, with PVA glue, and it's a scale model scenery product. So, so that's the filler on there. Now, I have to leave that for 24 hours, and obviously bits of it have ended up as I've, I've been trying to smooth it out on there. And this was the filler that I was using. Um, where have I put it now? Uh, right, well, it's a, I'll look for it, but it's a dial um, filler from B&Q. And what I've actually managed to notice with it is that... And I had this trouble with a Stanley one as well. It's not a tub of filler. It's actually a tube of filler. And I've been having problems trying to get the filler out of the tube. I've eventually managed to do it, although I noticed in the process I burst the tube at the top, but hey ho. So if there's anybody out there that's had any trouble with their filler out of a tube, or if you work for B&Q or B&M or Homebase, could you please let me know what the best tip is for trying to get it out of the tube. So we're going to have to leave that for 24 hours. When I come back tomorrow to do a little bit more work on the layout, down here. What I'll be doing then is starting to get the road markings done on here. Now I know that that road is a little bit wider than what it should be but that is my choice there. I've decided to do it that way. But we now have that bit down there ready for road markings. So that's the next job. You'll notice also that I've put a little aqua curb on there. These are actually supplied with the Gale model scenery kit, and you could see that there. They're called aqua curbs, cut out and fold around the edge of pavement curb stones. You could do it 
randomly if you so wish. So I've put one on there, but I've not put any on here. One other thing to mention too as well is that I will have enough bits to get started on this part here of the pavement, but I won't have enough to get it finished. So just in its scale model scenery, you'll be getting another order from me very soon. In addition to that, I'll have an added complication down here with the Headingley Insurance Building. That I'll actually have to stay where it is, believe it or not, uh, because it actually is sitting on a board right now. I'm going to have to leave it like that. This Nat West Bank is actually sitting on the board as well, and I have to create an alleyway between them. So, with that in mind, I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to sort that problem out for getting round it and I think what I'll be doing is I'll have to see where the join is in the pavement I might actually end up taking them off and then putting them back on I'll have to see where the joins are and the, 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 the bits of balsa wood and then work it out from there so that's this one for today it was short and sweet wasn't it so next time you see me I'll be showing you how I'm going to go about getting the, the road markings down and I'll be making a start with this stuff on the, the filler that I've got there and we'll then get the walls reinstated. There's also the bus stop alcove that I'll be building. I've got this part here ready from the old pavement and I'll be making it up the new one up with bits from the new scale model sceneries kit. So, Please stay with me and bear with me and I'll see you next time for part four of Rebuilding the Street Scene. Goodbye for now.